There we go. That's yours. I'm surprised Stormy's missing a weekend track. Why? Yeah, I know. Can I have a cord in you? What's this? Keys? Um, car um, keys? That's so okay. These are my car keys. These are my work keys. So my phone started so. dinging about. What? Dinging. Hair time. Probably about Apparently. 7 o'clock. And it was Sean. Oh, yeah. I'm totally disappointed. It's called lemonade lip gloss, and it's the color is pink lemonade, and it smells like cupcakes. Hi, what you doing? Uh oh. I, I thought you were blowing bubbles. Show me your bubbles. Blow them. Land. Why don't you go sit with your brothers? Selfies. You're taking selfies? No, no, I'm not. You're taking selfies. No, you're taking selfies. No, you're taking selfies. Look, I'm I'm taking video of you taking pictures. <laughs> Check this out, Log. Okay. So this camera. Isn't that cool? Yeah. You're taking selfies. Look, you can see your. They're figuring it out. You have a, your birthday's next week. Your birthday's in two months. You got a band aid? Yeah. Who's on your band aid? Uh, Paw Patrol, Paw Patrol, Paw Patrol. Hey, let him answer. Who's on your shoes? Your bag. Your bag. Oh, oh, my bag. Who is that? Uh, Marshall. Marshall. I'm not listening to you anymore, Leandy. Leandy. Thanks. Hello guys. <laughs> oh, it's probably Hello guys. So I am vlogging from my bed because your girl is sick. <laughs> it's not fun. Um pretty sure it was allergies, but it could have been a cold or could be a cold. I don't know. Oh my hair is crazy, sorry. I'm just trying to get better. So the kitties and I are hanging out. They haven't left my side all day. But something else that I wanted to talk to you guys about. Um, why does this not focus very well? I have to work on this. Oh man. Looking at myself now, I did not realize how bad I looked. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't be vlogging. <laughs> Um, anyway, this week, or last week, I took social media off my phone. I deleted Snapchat, Twitter, and Instagram off my phone because I realized they were becoming a distraction and an escape. I was using them as entertainment and to fill my boredom, and especially Twitter was getting kind of negative. Um, there's just a lot of negative energy there, and so I'm, it's, it's been five days or something, like it's not, it's not like I've been off for a month or something, but it's, it's really allowed me to enjoy my life a little bit more. Um, I was talking to Brittany about it yesterday. <coughs> Babes. Okay, hey, I'm trying to vlog. <laughs> nope, this is this is what we're getting now. Look at the look at what this one does. She 
gonna get in there and she's gonna find a little nodule on this blanket and she's gonna suck on it. And then when I go to go to bed, there's gonna be a wet spot on my blanket. <laughs> Anyway, what Brittany and I were talking about was how when I put social media aside and pay more attention to the people and the things that are going on in my life, I really appreciate it more. Like I've been taking more pictures of the cats because I'm not on my phone all the time. I'm not face down into my phone and I'm able to enjoy more. And then being sick and not having those on my phone because I'm like in bed I don't have the energy to do anything else it's forced me to kind of you know I started watching Project Runway again and I forgot how much I love that show and it's on Hulu and it's just it's yesterday I was with my mom and my sister and my nephews and it was my mom's birthday and we went up and we helped her hang up some pictures but mostly I just played with the boys and I'm sure that there'll be some footage in here of that because I just adore them and they're just they're everything and then we went to lunch and I came home and relaxed with the cats they they have been with me all day She needs the blanket and like sucks on the blanket. Anyway. Fina, what are you doing? Alright, we're gonna go back to Project Runway because that's what I want to be doing right now and hope that I'm well enough to go to work tomorrow because this is the best my voice is uh, my voice has sounded in like two days so good morning guys today is Wednesday July 3rd <coughs> obviously the 4th of July is tomorrow I have no plans Brittany has a family thing to go to and my family's not doing anything because my sister has to work the next day and depending on the workload at my job I might end up going in on Friday we'll see um, Brittany and I are supposed to do something I tried to like get us a room at the beach or something so that we could hang out for the weekend and <sighs> summer rates are a thing <laughs> so the same room that we got when we went in February that was $80 is now $250 and that's just ridiculous. I can understand like raising the rate in the summer. I get that. But three times the amount? Three times? I dropped my coffee card. So we're not doing that. So I'm not sure what we're going to do. We're going to do something. We're going to go outside or something. It's supposed to be like 70-ish. So it should be nice weather. So I want to do something. But I also need to really get caught up on videos. I uh, subscribed to Glossy Box last month. And I have the box. And then this morning I checked my email. And my July box is on the way. So maybe I'll open June and July together for you guys. Um, I signed up for like a three month trial thing just to see what it was like. But I've canceled a bunch of other stuff. Like I don't share Loot Crate with you guys anymore so I canceled those. It just got to be like repeat stuff and just stuff I wasn't excited about anymore. And that's disappointing because I used to be so excited about those boxes. I guess probably my biggest disappointment is that I haven't seen anything from Borderlands in there at all. And that is my absolute favorite. But if I don't have coffee, it's not gonna be a good day. So my cold is still hanging on. I haven't been vlogging because I couldn't talk for a couple days. Um, 
I think it was an allergy that turned into coughs and I, or a, a cold-ish. Um, but I think it also had to do with my really elevated stress level the last, I don't know, two weeks. I'm heading to therapy and I did bring my own tissues. So we'll, <laughs> we'll see how that goes. <laughs> oh gosh. So last night for dinner, I made, I had picked up this turkey tenderloin and I thought, oh, that sounds really good. No, don't buy that. It was just like turkey meat that they like shoved into a tube, like all these extra little pieces of the turkey breast. It was so weird. So I just had like a bunch of pieces of turkey on top of my potatoes and carrots that baked in the oven. Um, the night before I made this French onion soup style beef noodles. I had these really thick egg noodles in my freezer. I'm trying to like clean out like the food that I have, like not buy groceries until I absolutely have to. So I had some steak in the freezer that I stripped up. I had two onions I cut into like half moons and I um, got those down, like sweated them down so they were like almost disintegrating. You know how onions get to the point where they're like not there anymore, just their flavor is. And so I did that. I put the steak strips in, there's some Worcestershire sauce, beef broth, and like other spices. And then I put the egg noodles in and I kind of let it all cook together and it got this really like yummy, thick gravy with the noodles and the steak. So it was really good. And it was funny because I was talking to Roger about it and he, he goes, hold on, let me send you a picture. And he had made something super similar except he had broccoli in his. I just thought that was really funny. Uh, work has been so busy. It's the end of the quarter and so I have to do all this, you know, tax reporting and finishing up, you know, all the things. So that's what I've been working on. It's, it's only the third and I've got most of them done. So I'm ahead of the game. Um, in Washington, we just were required starting this month to report for the new Family Medical Leave Act, which I thought we already had, but apparently we didn't. So it's kind of like you have to have a qualifying event like it's really confusing and then also there is no more tax exemption sales tax exemption for Oregon residents which is gonna hurt my business a little bit because we were able to so okay so Oregon doesn't have a sales tax so when they come to Washington they don't have to pay sales tax on any goods that they buy they would just have to pay tax on the labor for, for my shop. Well, now they have to pay tax on all of it. And I've already had one customer say, well, fine, I'll just go over to Oregon and buy it. I'll drive to Portland and save the $10. I'm like, okay, well, you're gonna spend five to drive to Portland, but okay, you know, I get it. So it's, it's frustrating for us that it's one of those, like the lawmakers are in Olympia and they don't think about the industry down here where we're so close to Oregon that Stuff like that happens. Oh no, I lost my coffee cart again? Like, what did I do with it? Shoot. The older I get, the more I look at politics and taxes and things like that and pay more attention to it because it actually does matter. And it's, it's stuff you, you need to know. And especially like, I, you know, run the business side. I'm, I do accounting type stuff, so I have to keep up on tax laws so that I'm doing things right. And I have to keep up on minimum wage and things like that. Um, we only have one person that gets minimum wage. He's just, he's our cleanup kid. He just comes in for like six hours a week or something. But it just, 
it's a lot to keep up for a small business and I don't know if my boss appreciates that about me like that you know he doesn't have to worry about that stuff and I do it for him but I don't know I guess that's part of the reason why I'm looking for something else is because I want to be challenged more but like I also want to be appreciated somewhere and feel like feel like I'm working as a team instead of me just like flailing and trying to keep things going if that makes any sense at all and it's the struggles of a small business I think that he's he's fine just leaving everything in my hands but it, it, it sometimes feels like if we don't turn a profit or if we're not making money if we can't you know if we don't have the money in the account that it's somehow my fault because I'm the one that manages everything and so it's it's a lot of pressure oh my gosh I'm hitting every red light this morning I'm usually so much earlier I'm not gonna be late but I'm gonna be dang close to being on time Living with Roger, I was always early to things. That That's his thing. He's always early. And <laughs> now being on my own, I don't have someone to like be like, eh, 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 let's go, let's go, let's go. <coughs> so I sometimes I'm late, but like not like terribly late. Don't ask my sister though. <laughs> the The first year after I moved out, if I would say I'd be at her house at 10, I'd show up at like 11. <laughs> it was like, I was consistently like an hour late. Like, I would leave my house when I told her I would be there. But lately, I've been a lot, lot better about it. I think it was just, when I, when I first moved out, I was just in this like, Woo! I'm free! I can do whatever I want! And... It was not a good attitude for someone like me to have because it, it was a slippery slope. I've been working like nine and a half hours every day and my boss is like, okay, so they get there at seven and I don't get there till eight, but, and usually there's, um, my boss and then two people in the shop and then me during the day. Well, one of our shop guys has been gone. And so it's just been the boss and one of the other shop guys, the, the back shop guy. And my boss has been leaving the back shop guy there by himself for like an hour, 45 minutes until I get there. And I'm like, don't do that. You can't leave him here by himself. Like we can't, well, he's not using a machine. I don't care. Like he has to answer the phone and deal with customers. That's, that's not okay. I can't see anything. So, I think I might have to start going in at 7 and working like a 10 hour day. Because I don't get, I don't get to take a lunch either. It's not like I don't get a lunch. I technically could take a lunch, but we're so busy that I, I don't like leaving the phone, so I just eat at my desk. And I just, you know, answer the phone while I'm eating at my desk. <clears throat> that's why sometimes I don't like feel bad about filming at work if I have something really quickly to say because I don't get a lunch so <laughs> I have to stay at my desk I feel like I'm chained to that desk <sighs> it's really stressful some days all right I'm pulling up to my doctor's office so I'm gonna go and I will catch you guys soon hi guys today is July 5th I have the day off yay yay I had a four-day weekend. So yesterday I spent the day at home. I went to the dollar store and got a couple things to wrap my nephew's birthday present. Because his Leo turns four on Sunday. I'm like, so it's crazy to me. So um, yeah, yesterday I just stayed at home with the cats. I like decluttered a bunch of stuff. I went through my lipsticks, got rid of the old ones, and got rid of some that I, I maybe I got in a boxy charm or something that I'm never gonna wear. So I got rid of those. 
um, I put some makeup aside for the women's shelter and I put some stuff aside to give to my sister and give to Brittany, which I forgot. Dang it. I'm heading to see Brittany right now. <laughs> I haven't seen her. I didn't see her last weekend, so it's been two weeks. It makes me sad. I, it's been either two weeks or three weeks. And I miss her. <laughs> Luckily, we, we talk on Facebook all the time. We like send each other little Facebook videos. <laughs> Because that's what kind of dorks we are. But um, as you can tell, I'm, I'm pretty much over my allergy stuff. But my voice is still a little like... Rrr, rrr, rrr. My nose is a little like stuffy still. Not like... Not like snotting everywhere. <laughs> but um, it's, you know, stuffed in this area a little bit. But I feel so much better. I have so much more energy. I have cleaned my house. My friend came over yesterday who hadn't been over for a couple weeks and he, the last time he was there I was like mid super depression and it was that really stressful week and he was like wow you've done a lot because he knows like when I am depressed I don't do anything in my house. I just I do like the minimum. I like Maybe I'll do my laundry if I don't have anything else to wear, which is rare. The, the only time I have to do laundry because I don't have clothes is when I'm out of underwear. So <laughs> I just, I got caught up on a lot of stuff yesterday and I feel really good about it. Um, the cats didn't seem to mind the fireworks too much. The big, big bangs they didn't like. So they just hung out in my room, mostly slept on my bed or like, I might be able to insert a picture, but like when I'm playing either a game or I'm on my computer editing or whatever, they're both laying right in front of me. So like on my desk is those two cats and then my laptop and then I have to work around them. But it works. <laughs> they, they, they love it. They love to be close to me and like, um, Athena likes to lay her head right here. If I'm like laying in bed, she'll put her head right here. And Harriet just likes to be like next to me all the time. So they might like me a little bit. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> uh, um, so today we're going to go into Fat Fancy, which is a plus size consignment shop. And I'm going to take some clothes in and see if they want them. They have been asking for 4X plus clothes because those don't stay on the shelves very often. So I finally like went through my clothes again and got rid of some stuff that I was like, I really like this piece, but I don't wear it. So I'm gonna take those in there and see if they wanna do anything with those. Um, yeah, and just like hang out with my BFF. I find that like when I'm depressed, I kind of isolate myself. That's really, really bad for me because I'm, while I'm an introvert, I'm like an outrovert with certain people, if that makes sense. Um, I want certain people around me, but not people, people. <laughs> like, I know that makes sense to some of you. You're like, yes, girl. Yes. Because like, I, I want to be around my family. I want to be around Brittany. I have like two other friends that I'm like, yeah, come over. Even though I feel like shit, come over and I'll feel better. Um, not that I... I'm getting better at like being alone and being okay with being alone but sometimes I just want someone around um, videos should be coming back soon I don't know I'm kind of I needed to take a step back um, I'm not sure I'm sure I talked about that I got rid of snapchat and Instagram and Twitter I've since I put Instagram back on this morning and I made a post but I just, I needed that two weeks. I think it was two weeks. Right around two weeks, yeah. Well, no, it's been a week and a half, I guess, for Instagram. Um, I don't think that I'm gonna go put Twitter back on my phone. Um, I find Twitter to, and maybe it's just the, maybe I just need to like thin out who I'm following, but it gets to be so negative and so like, I'm gonna expose this and look at this, someone did this and 
again, maybe, maybe it's the channels I'm following and I need to not follow certain, you know, accounts. And so I could go back in there and like get rid of some of those because I found myself, especially like since the Jaclyn Hill, um, lipstick thing I found myself really like getting into that like drama stuff and that was so negative so that was like all of June right like the Jaclyn Hill stuff was like all of June and I found myself getting super involved and like wanting to watch all these videos and I was like why am I doing this why I don't care number one I didn't buy the lipsticks number two I'm not a huge Jaclyn Hill fan anyway and number three like why, how does this affect me? Like, is watching all of these gonna change what happened? No, it does inform me, but I could watch like one or two videos and get all the information I need. You know what I mean? So it's just, I need to not do that because bringing that negativity into my life pulls me down. I'm sort of an empathetic person and I like, I take the people around me and their feelings and I kind of pull that into myself. And so I've stopped being friends with certain people because they were too negative and I need to not do that. And I, I'm not dragging my mom, but my mom has a very negative attitude sometimes. And so sometimes I even have to be like, mom, I don't want to talk about this with you. Can we please talk about something else? And that's something that I'm working on in therapy because that's your mom. Like I, I was taught to have respect for your mom, you know, have respect for your parents and you know, you don't talk back to them, but she, I don't need to call her out, but if she's not aware that she's putting out negative energy, then I need to tell her, hey, this this conversation is going in a negative way and I, I don't want that anymore. And she's been really good about it. Like I said, I'm not trying to drag her. I'm not trying to like, you know, say that my mom's a bad person, but sometimes she can bring negative energy. There we go. <laughs> I'm trying to say it in the nicest way possible. I, I hope you guys realize that. Um, so yeah, so I, that's been a lot of struggle for me is setting those boundaries with certain people where I'm like, I really would not, I don't want to talk about this certain thing or I, I'd rather you didn't talk about this person, things like that. So other than that, what's going on? Um, work has been super busy, but I'm all caught up and that's why I was like, awesome, we're taking Friday off. Um, I would have not worked today even if we weren't closed, but since we're closed, that's even better. Like, then I don't feel too terrible about it. Because sometimes I really feel guilty and missing work. Um, I feel guilty that the guys have to do my job as well as theirs. Like, not that they have to do my entire job, but they have to answer the phone, which takes them away from working on their, you know, on customers' projects and stuff. So I feel guilty about it. And I think that comes with being such a small company. There's only six of us, like routinely six of us, and then me. So there's seven employees that work full time and we split them into two shifts. So it's not like I have six people there all the time. During the day, there's only three of us sometimes. And then at night, there's only two of them. So it just, it, I'm not counting my boss in there because he doesn't work in the shop very often. So it's just, it's, I don't know, I don't know how to explain it. If you've ever worked for a small business, you'll understand. Because usually there's somebody there that can take over your responsibilities if you're gone for a day and it's fine. And it is fine if I'm gone for a day, but like I'm planning this two week vacation. I have to find someone to come and sit for me because they can't. They can't be that long without someone handling what I do. And luckily I have my friend Justin who can come in and do that. And if I ever like left, if I ever got a different job like I'm looking for, then I know that he can step right in and have minimum questions, minimal questions, minimum questions. 
formidable questions about what's going on. So I've been really thinking about getting back into my streaming um, on Twitch, video game streaming. Um, if you haven't checked that out, like basically what Twitch is, is an app and website where people can play games or have a talk show or, you know, do certain things. Um, Jeffree Star has a Twitch account, which he doesn't use very often, but like he'll go on there and he'll do his makeup and just talk with people. And I, I feel like it's really fun. And I find myself when I'm playing video games talking anyway, like I'm like talking to the screen or, you know, making comments. And so for right now, the cats are just my audience. <laughs> like the other night I was playing something and I'm talking away and the cats are just like laying there looking at me and I'm like, why am I not streaming this? <laughs> like, it would be entertaining for everyone to see the cats being like, girl, be quiet. <laughs> Mom, shush, <laughs> we're trying to sleep. So last night while I was decluttering, I got rid of a couple boxes of lashes that I never opened. I put them in my um, giveaway slash donation pile. And apparently one of the cats grabbed him and took took one of the boxes out into the living room because my roommate goes, I don't think these are gonna look good on the cats. And he hands me the box of lashes. And I was like, oh geez, no, they don't need lashes. <laughs> like, silly cats. And then, okay, this is like funny, but kind of like maybe TMI. So they were under my bed. I have like a platform bed and they were under there hiding and I had my blanket kind of like over the side so that they could like hide out under there and I had my fan on in the window and it was it's my fan is fairly loud it's kind of old and I need to like replace it because it's like like it makes a noise and I was like oh, the, the fan sounds really weird right now what is going on and so I turned it off and the sound was still going. I was like, what is that? So I'm like searching around for whatever this sound is. Apparently I had left my wand plugged in, my massage wand, and the cats had like stepped on it and turned it on underneath my bed. <laughs> Usually I put it away and, you know, clean it up and put it back in the box so that no one can find it. But apparently I left it out the night before <laughs> and turned it on. I was like, oh my God, so creepy. This is so weird. Not creepy, but like, I was, it was funny. I thought it was hilarious. But that might be TMI for everyone. <laughs> uh, the, and like, the, apparently when they stepped on, they ran out of the room because they weren't under the bed anymore. So that was, that was interesting. They do that a lot with my CPAP machine. They'll like step on the button to turn it on and it'll be blowing. And if I have the fan going, I can't hear it because it's so quiet. I'm just like, you guys, like, what are you doing to me? All right, so I'm going to turn this off and concentrate on my driving. And uh, if I pull the camera out, I pull the camera out. If I don't, you won't see anything. Like, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> I'm currently sitting at my computer playing Rage but also watching Project Runway season 10 on my phone. Um, if that doesn't describe who I am deep down inside, I don't know what does. <laughs> Hi guys! So it's Sunday the 7th. Today is Leo's fourth birthday. I already FaceTimed him this morning and wished him happy birthday and he's amped. He is amped to heck. Apparently he's been asking my sister for months, is it my birthday? Is it my birthday? And so finally she got to say yes this morning. <laughs> he's so excited. She got him, you know, those big gold balloons that like YouTubers do for like 5K or 5 million or whatever. He got those big gold balloons with Leo and a baby Jack-Jack balloon because he loves baby Jack-Jack. But he's super excited. I'm probably gonna regret what I'm wearing because this is, this is a dress and I have like capri leggings on underneath. It's supposed to get up to 70, but right now when I'm leaving home, it's raining and it's 60. So we're either gonna be crammed in the house to keep warm or we're just gonna be true Washingtonians and sit out in the misty rain. That's just how we do. We don't, I don't own an umbrella. 
I live in one of the rainiest states and I don't own an umbrella. We don't do umbrellas. If you are using an umbrella, I assume you're a tourist. <laughs> it's just how we do. It's how us Washington people do it. <laughs> we just deal with it. <laughs> if you're from Washington also, or even Oregon, let me know. Do you use an umbrella? Because it's gonna have to be like a tsunami for me to use an umbrella. Just saying. So yesterday, I got up in the morning. Well, Leo woke me up actually. I got up at 5.30 and I had to pee and then I was like, I do not want to be up right now. So I went back to sleep and my sister called at like 8.45 and I answered and it was, Leo was on speakerphone with her and, hi kitty, that's what he calls me. And he goes, what are you doing? And I said, I just woke up and he goes, what? It's awake time! I'm like, sorry kid, I don't get up at five o'clock like you do. <laughs> I mean, on work days I get up at six, but still. So he was appalled that I was still in bed. But I got up and I didn't leave the house yesterday. I just kind of bummed around the house, did a little bit of cleaning. I, did I even play video games? No, I edited two videos though. And just kind of chilled by myself. And in the morning, I was talking to my friend and all of a sudden this like extreme sense of like loneliness and just like, ugh, came over me. And I was like, I, I think it's best that I don't talk to anyone right now because I'm just gonna be whiny and annoying. So I kind of cut off all communication yesterday and just kind of sat with myself. And I did fairly well until the evening time where I was like out of videos to edit. I didn't want to film anything. And I was like, okay, what am I gonna do? I'm really craving pizza. Like I really want pizza. And so I went on to <coughs> the Pizza Hut website and I placed an order. Or I, I made an order, but I didn't push like place order. And so I shut the website off and I was like, okay, I need groceries, but I'm not gonna have time to go tomorrow. So I'm gonna go on the Walmart website, see if I can pick up groceries in the morning before I leave town. And maybe that'll curb some of the, the cravings that I was having. So I got stuff to make, three recipes for cooking with candy, because I really wanna get back into that. And it's just, I, I have this mental block about it. And so I really wanna get back into that. So I picked three recipes, I got the stuff for those. And then I got, last week, I didn't show you guys, but I might show you this time because I made this salad. I took cauliflower crumbles, like they're just like chunks of cauliflower, like little square. It's not quite rice, but they're bigger than that. And I had that, um, honey Dijon dressing, uh, salami that I cut into little chunks and mozzarella the little pearls, a jar of mixed like sliced olives. And it was like green olives with pimentos and anyway, mixed it all together and it was so good. So this time I think I'm gonna do, I have some broccoli florets that I wanna cut up into like tiny pieces. Basically it's an Italian pasta salad, but I'm replacing the pasta with a vegetable. And it lasted me, I think last week I had three different bowls of it for like, that I took to work. I take my breakfast and my lunch to work. And then if I eat dinner, I'll make something. <laughs> like I don't always eat dinner because I kind of eat differently. Like for breakfast, I'll like eat like half of what I brought and then That'll be at like eight o'clock and then at like 10 or 10.30, I get hungry again, so I'll eat like the rest of it. And then I'll eat what I brought for lunch at like one o'clock. And if I don't eat all of it, then I'll eat the rest of it at like three o'clock. And that kind of sustains me through the night most of the time. It just depends on what kind of food I have brought for work. I don't stick to a regular schedule of eating. Like I, maybe I should, but that's kind of how I do it. Then if I get home and I like don't want to make dinner or I don't want dinner, then I'll just have like popcorn for dinner. <laughs> it's probably not the best way to do it, but that, that's how I've been doing it lately. Um, 
Um, so I did buy stuff for that. I might throw some spinach in there. I have some spinach that's whoop, on the verge of like going wilty. So if I don't cook it right away, I'll put it in soup. <laughs> but if I'm gonna, or like if I don't eat it right away, I'll put it in soup or something like that. Or wilt it down in like uh, eggs eggs with spinach and that used to be my go-to uh, every morning it was what was it eight ounces no six ounces of chicken breast cut up that I have meal prepped into chunks and then two cups of spinach and like three eggs and that was like my go-to breakfast when I was like heavy into like losing weight going to the gym every day I don't know why I can't get back into going to the gym I really don't like I think it's because work is so hectic and I used to go during my lunch break I used to go from 1 30 to 2 30 I would get about 40 minutes in but I just I, I never get to leave for lunch anymore we're so busy and we've lost an employee well since then we've lost an employee and so I feel bad leaving and I know I've talked about that a lot in this vlog I feel like I've talked about work a lot because work is weighing heavily on my mind I, I just I don't know if it's time for me to move on or not and I don't know if it's if it's safe for me to move on like in my own I don't <laughs> I don't want to move to a new job not be able to pick up what they want me to do and then have to start over again at almost 40 years old like that's my biggest worry in the world is having to start over again I did it at 35 I don't want to do it at 38 39 40 so it's, I'm in this weird place where like, do I stay somewhere where I've been for 15 years, but I'm not being like fulfilled or do I take that chance and go try something else? So, oh, I got this dress from Fat Fancy. It's so cute. It's got these little glasses on it. Oh, it's so cute. I got it for, they found a stain on it when they were doing their live sale and I was like, I still really want it. So she's like, well, I'll sell it to you for half price. So I got it for half price off what she was selling it for. And I think, I think so I think I got it for like $12 or $15 right around in there. So I was pretty excited about it. <laughs> I got another one that I want to show you guys too. I think it's um, from Penny Dreadful. And it's like this black dress with this really cool design in the back, which I'm not sure how I'm going to wear with a bra because I cannot go braless but it's got these like mirrors and stuff on it. It's really, really cool. I really like it. So that's where I'm at. <laughs> not, not too much to talk about, but I just wanted to, you know, get on here and say hi and doing full face of tart today. Um, I'll do another day tomorrow of full face of tart. And yeah, we'll, we'll figure it out from there. All right, so Leo's birthday is Incredibles themed. My sister did this. And there's his cake. She just took the cupcakes out, so I can't show you them. But yeah, he's super excited I got here and he was like, my birthday's alive. He's so cute. So I'll vlog a little and show you guys what we're doing. All right, so my sister's super talented. So she painted that. Got masks, cupcakes. Baby Jack Jack. Leo's flying over there. <laughs> it's a little windy, a little cold, but it's super cool. Yep. Oh! oh. Maybe you should take your sandals off. <laughs> you crazy. <laughs> okay, hold on. Let me stand on this side. <laughs> You're excited, aren't you? Hold on! <laughs> what kind of cake is that? My baby Jack Jack! <laughs> <laughs> My baby Jack Jack! Baby Jack Jack! Oh, baby Jack Jack! 
Okay, don't blow on me. We gotta sing first, okay? Okay. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Leo. Happy birthday to you. So excited. Open it. 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 Open Ouch. Okay, watch it. Nathan will do it for you. Watch it. Woo! <laughs> Next bench, Christy. Can I do it? Yeah. <laughs> oh, you almost got it. Almost. Yeah, you got it. Hi, guys. So it's after the party. You'll see some. Um, I didn't record a lot, but oops, I forgot to turn off my radio. Um, yeah, it was really fun. I miss seeing my up north friends. So it was nice to catch up with my friend Brenda and my friend Jamie. There, it, those are people that like I could go a couple months without talking to and we just pick up where we left off. Just like, hey, this, this, this is going on. And then, you know, I just talked to the two of them for like an hour and a half. It was great. <laughs> but I was... <laughs> Saturday, or no, Friday, I spent time with Brittany, and I, I was thinking about this. I spent time with Brittany in the morning, and then I got home at like three or four, and I had the rest of the night to myself, and I just got so lonely. I was like, man, because <laughs> you got that high from like hanging out with someone you really care about and that you like spending time with, and then the down of them not being there anymore, and it was, man. <laughs> I think that's maybe what happened to me on Saturday is that I had been so excited to hang out with her and then she not do. <laughs> I think that's the only thing about me like not dating right now and like I kind of isolate myself basically at home like learning to be alone I guess. I know some people when I said in the last vlog that it was a big deal to go to a movie by myself I I just was raised around people all the time. There was always someone to do something with. There was always someone around. There was always somebody else in our house. And then when I, I moved straight from there in with Roger and then I always had a partner, you know? I always had my husband. And so I'm learning to be alone. <laughs> and I know that's hard for my entire family. Like my mom and I talk about it a lot because she's going through that too. She, you know, after her and my dad split, she didn't have anyone and so she's she's going through that too so we talk about that a lot but I think learning to be alone for me is a really strong lesson um, something that I need and that I'm you know slowly learning <laughs> learn 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 it's all just you know you're, I'm evolving as a person and becoming, you know, the person I always thought I was because I always thought I was like super independent and didn't really need any, you know, didn't really need anybody. And I realized that I do. And sometimes that's okay, but sometimes you gotta learn to be alone and do these things on your own. And I don't know. I'm, I'm just rambling now, so probably you're not gonna talk much longer because <laughs> I don't have too much more to say. Uh, I'm gonna go home and meal prep for the week, make some dinner. I'm kinda hungry. I've had a sausage McMuffin, a coffee, a cupcake, and she had um, some sub sandwiches from Walmart and I had two pieces of that. And it's nearly five o'clock, so I'm getting hungry. I have some pork chops out 
or I can make a meatloaf. I think I might go with some meatloaf. We'll see. Anyway, that, that's all. <laughs>